Say. Yeah, I'm going to show you uh, in just a second what we're seeing, but I also just want to quickly get to this because this public safety alert just arrived to my phone. You know how we get these on our smartphones. It says the public safety officials have declared that they are extending the shelter in place order for the county in northern Sagadahawk County. Make sure your homes and your vehicles are secured. I apologize if I uh, screwed up the name of that county. However, what we know at this point is that this is still very much an active manhunt and they want people in this area to continue sheltering in place. And this is why. Take a look at this manhunt that's happening right behind me. News Nation's the only crew that is actually seeing these visuals here on scene. And if you look, we're going to keep that shout up. I'm not going to step back into frame because we want you to have a good look at it. Basically, we just saw about half a dozen or more unmarked police cars just whip into this driveway very, very quickly. You can see those law enforcement officials all gathered there perhaps at, uh, at some sort of staging or briefing. Uh, this is a hugely wooded uh, area that's just a little bit southeast of Lewiston where that mass shooting took place. But here you can see these camouflaged law enforcement officials, many of them carrying weapons, some of them wearing helmets and body vests, uh, actually at this scene. This is the manhunt that's taking place right here all across Maine. And over in the skies here, we've seen helicopters, we've seen planes, uh, some of those planes, most likely using thermal technology to try to find uh, Robert uh, out here, perhaps in this woods. Of course, we're not seeing much more beyond what we see here in this driveway. We don't know exactly how many law enforcement officials are out there in the woods, but this is the manhunt that's currently underway here in Maine. They are trying desperately to find this person, and they know that he is still out there armed and dangerous, and that's why they are continuing to put that shelter in place alert right here, right now. One other note, uh, the homeowner, or the business owner, I'm not entirely sure who actually owns this property, owns this block of land, just actually pulled in. Uh, he, I asked him, hey, do you know what's going on here on your driveway, on your land? He told me law enforcement hasn't told him anything at this point. He's just seeing it now for the very first time. We're gonna stay here. We're gonna keep monitoring the situation. We're gonna see yeah. if any more uh, technology, manhunt technology comes, helicopters or planes. But for right now, this is exactly what's going on And Alex, can you do me a Maine. favor? Um, and I, I know we wanted to take a closer look at the scene that's unfolding behind you. If you can ask your photographer to, to zoom back in there as, as much as possible. Uh, yeah, tell, us, tell us more about uh, yeah. the helicopters Relax. and the, the air presence overhead. I think it's really helpful not only to see the staging that's going on behind you, but to see how densely wooded this area really is. We, we, we've heard about the technology at the disposal of law enforcement, uh, whether it's night vision, certainly heat seeking uh, technology as well. Well, but I know earlier when we were speaking with Tracy Walder, uh, or you know our former CIA officer and FBI special agent on the search for Dan Danilo Cavalcante, that oftentimes these technologies are not very effective when you have woods this dense. It is just not possible to see either with the naked eye or even with some of these technologies. What can you tell us about the aircraft that you're seeing overhead and the kind of search from above that's happening right now? Well, they were at one point concentrated right above this area. Since then, they've sort of dispersed and we saw them grow farther and farther away. But keep in mind, when you just look at on your phone, Google Maps or Apple Maps of this area, you're absolutely right. It is heavily wooded and it is a huge area of land that they would likely have to cover. So while boots on the ground can certainly make an effort, you definitely need those types of aircraft to help you out and support you in your search. Now, I got to tell you something that I heard from a law enforcement officer just yesterday. You know, he was saying, hey, look, if you want to hide in Maine, you can do it. There is a lot of places for you to just duck, weave, and get out of eyesight. And so he said it in a way that was, you know, honestly not uh, instilling much confidence. It's, it's a reality of being here in rural Maine that there's just a lot of wooded area that someone can hide. But here we can see this manhunt that they keep talking about, this desperate, uh, plea to find this guy. This is what it looks like. Law enforcement officers staging together, some boots on the ground, some aircrafts in the sea, into the air, and this is an all-out effort to find Robert Carr. Yeah, and Alex, can I ask you, how far away are you right now from where the shootings took pl place last night? I would say we're about 20 to 25 miles southeast of Lewiston. Uh, this is a, a, one of the three areas that are actually within that shelter in place, um, shelter in place order. This is a town called uh, Bodenham. Uh, it is just to the east of Lewiston. Uh, but again, those shelter in places are happening in Lewiston, Lisbon, and Budin.
appreciate that. Alex Capriello, don't go anywhere. We appreciate you live in Maine for us right now. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.